right then, let's go ahead and uh, move to live recording and uh, let's uh, get this started. Uh, Riley, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm I like I I I got like a, a through a bunch of the history and stuff, but I'm I'm not as encyclopedic as you are, and I'll, I'll just uh, uh you know I'll jump in a lot. But do you mind like uh like I don't know uh sort of carrying the weight of the conversation? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Am, Since am I do I have permission to add everyone? Is that a thing that I have? Oh yeah, go right ahead. No, 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 Robin. And everyone. You, wait, are, are you? What are you in here? Summon villainy moderator stream. Oh, okay. Boom, boom. Okay, boom. You should be a mo yeah. You should be a moderator, and you should have uh, all the privileges of one. All right. <laughs> Already. Mo takes some PCP to talk about the PCP. Now recording. Let's talk about the PCP. All right, Miley, give me a quick read, real quick. Miley? Oh, Riley, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I was adjusting audio <laughs> levels. I don't know why. Yeah, fucking god damn it. All right, all right. A after this, after today, after I get done, because I'm trying. The Mopurge. Oh uh, yeah, w w I got to Y'all, y'all mind helping me? Just uh, uh, just like helping me mo purge everyone, because this is now the joke is becoming difficult, and now I'm like fucking up my. Now I can't speak English, and it's the only it's fucking. A party in the USA. Yes, it, it's the only <laughs> language that I know right now, so I, I, I gotta do something. Okay. I'm a regular Hannah Montana over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what you am, the Hannah's Montanas. Uh, all right. All right, I'll go ahead and do the intro. Uh, in three, a two, a skiddly diddly do. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Bogum admits what I'm thinking of. Wouldn't give this for any other guy. And I just want to tell you how I feel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Today with me, as always, is co-host numero uno, Robin. Say hi, Robin. Oh, shit. I'm first this time? What's up? And sec, well, you, uh, I'm going in order of, like, Pete, how I added you all. Like, because you were the first co-host. And then uh. Riley, Riley became a regular. And see, this is a little bit of the MoCast lore for all those who are just now tuning in. And uh, Riley just became like a regular guest and a regular quote-unquote call-in guy uh, for the show. And he became the second uh, co-host, and that is... Uh, yeah, Mo okay. keeps the call open, so I just decided I was going to be on every episode, and then eventually Mo's like, all right, I guess we can just officially declare you a co-host if you're going to be on every episode. Well, I was kind of thinking, you know, all the best podcast, a lot of the best shows, a lot of the best podcasts, especially in the 90s, had like, you know a duo or a trio, like uh, uh, e even Howard Stern, who is the king of this uh, fucking radio show thing, you know, he, he knew the score. That's why he bumped up to, you know, third, and they were just rotating freak shows in every week. So, you know, but I, I only have us, and we, we're our own freak show. So we have no one else. To, <laughs> you know, we can't, ro ro we can't uh, uh, you know, uh, roll in anyone else besides us, so you know. <laughs> yeah, there's, that, there's that famous show, uh, What's His Face and Anthony, you know, the guy that nobody talks about anymore. Oh, yeah, 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 that, that, that one dude who did the thing and the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, dude, the lore between behind that show, the uh, the Opie, Opie and Anthony show, uh, is fucking crazy. Like uh, to because to listen to both the Opie and Anthony show. You've never heard of the o Opie and Anthony oh, show? Oh, like you me. kid, you child! <laughs> oh, God, God! 
that, that's that. How come like things that we grew up with that just recently like fell off, kind of historically recently fell off? Like, how come no one in your generation, Riley, remembers that? Like, how come my generation and uh, like the subsequent two well, other generations? Like that... Well, yeah, you do have a point there. <laughs> God damn. God, we really are sort of rolling them in kind of a little bit young, huh? Oh, well, you got to start somewhere, I suppose. Anyway. I'm rolling them in young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. How about that oh, Digibro? God. There's some funny things with that Digibro person, who's it, coincidentally uh, one of the people that we're talking about because we're talking about the uh, the dudes from the PCP. And, you know, this isn't like a shit-talking podcast or anything like that. I'm legitimately a huge fan of, of all the dudes involved, uh, some more than others, but not for any, like, personal or political reasons. Just uh, That's just the, the way that the cookie crumbles, I suppose. So I'm a large fan of one of the people previously involved with Oh, that. oh Riley is a, is, is a rather rotund uh, uh, fan of at least wow. one or two. <laughs> well, I thought he was going for a fat joke, and I was going to, I was going to come in with another I fat wasn't, joke. but that was pretty good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, all right. Um, well, since my joke's not dead, Riley's actually a huge, huge fan of the the PCP guys and the PCP podcast, and, and so am I. We were having a conversation the other day uh, about like what we liked uh, from from those guys. Like, what are the podcasts we like? What episodes we like? What uh, what uh, 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 videos that they've pumped out individually we like? And I decided, hey, that's kind of a fun little topic. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So, uh, Riley, uh, why don't you just uh, give us, a, if you're prepared to do that, of course, why don't you go ahead and give us like a, a PCP synopsis, like a, a TLDR so, for all those uh, just jumping in. PCP. Yeah. The PCP is a big old group podcast with a bunch of people in it, a bunch of content creators on the internet there are 11 total pcp members three of which have parted ways with the show for one reason or another there's a uh, you want me to list all the members of the pcp sure 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 like uh, however many you can remember and we'll just uh we'll gab on i mean i have a list i have a list in front of me so oh okay okay we'll go right ahead then list there's, away um digi bro Munchie, Ben Saint, Nate, best guy ever, <laughs> Endless Jess, Lethal Aurora Mage, or is it Aurora Mage? I don't fucking know. Hippocrit. I like Hippocrit. Tommy Oliver. I like some of his stuff. It's funny. And then the three that are no longer affiliated with the PCP for one reason or another are Jeff Thu from Mother's Basement, Monkey Jones, obviously. And Davu. Yeah, I, I was watching this uh, this guy shit talk uh, all of the PCP members and Davu and uh, who who is the the other one before before Davu that you said? Jeff from Mother's Basement. Oh, Mother's Basement. Yeah, which I, I just now am privy to uh, him and what he's done. Uh, do you know what, like what, what's his problem with the DG Bro? Why are the both of them beefing so badly? So, I think what I watched, I, I watched the Y Kick video that you posted. I watched like the first 18 minutes of that, and then it came yeah. up in that video where um, it was basically that um, the PCP is like this big old kind of like artist toot their own horn group, and they got kind of like peeved off at Jeff for how much of a shill he was being. And then eventually, there was also the fact that he just wasn't showing up for podcasts. Like, he was only on ever like three episodes of the PCP. It was actually. Funnily enough, uh, he told this story when he went on uh, Thought Cops. Uh, Mo Monkey was I love Thought a Cops. Thought Cops is a Monkey really good fucking show. Monkey was actually a big spearheader in kicking Jeff off the show, which is funny because he later got kicked off the show. Monkey By was actually the one who like sort of spearheaded like, hey, this guy isn't showing up for the show. He kind of sucks. Let's just kick him off the show. And, and, th this, and this was because Digibro was less than satisfied with Monkey Jones. Yeah, when they kicked Monkey off the show. I'm talking about when they kicked Jeff off the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just uh, uh, 
uh, adding to your uh, your little bit there. My bad. I'll, I'll shut up now. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop jumping in with irrelevant or mm, yes and uh, speak of the obvious. Yes, yes. Listen, mm. listen Mo, one at a time. One at a time. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> to talk about Mufti getting kicked, which is the big drama with the PCP. This is really what. This is really what brought the PCP into like a more mainline. Like this is a very controversial group. Is when they kicked Mufti Jones out. Um, because the story behind it is that Monkey Jones had a couple of friends who were known for being internet trolls. Um, people like Cream Man, Mr. Meat Man, who, uh, they are not friends anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, man. <laughs> they, they are not. <laughs> Cream, Cream Man, Mr. Meat Man. And uh, Princess Man. Natlord, I believe, were the names of the three main people that were a problem. Who's Princess Natlord? Uh, not important. I don't think it's a very relevant person besides for this very specific situation. Oh, damn. Like, was it that bad? Um, What happened was basically, like, I think what I heard was it actually has to do with Princess Natlord. Jess shit on Princess Natlord in a stream, I think. Uh-huh. And... He, along with, you know, Cream Man and Meat Man, came back at Jess, and, like, they were obviously much better at it than he was, because they literally drove Endless Jess off of the fucking internet. God <laughs> like, damn. he left the internet over this shit. Like, and it wasn't even that bad. He just is a fucking crybaby about some things. Well, were they just, I mean, like, shit-talking each other on, like, fucking Twitter or something? Like, they what? They were shit-talking him. They were, like, making fun of him in videos and stuff. <laughs> There's, like, some stupid video, I think, I don't remember who made it, I think it was Cream Man, where it, it's just, like, Cream Man with a fucking, like, katana swinging it around, threatening Endless Jess. <laughs> <laughs> alright, 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 all right. sorry, so, um, what, what was the to uh, what, what was the point that you were making earlier, it was, uh, okay, uh the three so... main members, and then, uh, the, the rest. So, yeah, those three people were friends with Monkey, and they were harassing, quote-unquote, Endless Jess. So Endless Jess left the internet by extension the PCP, and this sort of caused tension within the group, and eventually there was... Eventually, Digi was talking to Jesse, and Jesse said... Uh, Digi asked him, and Jesse said that he might come back if Monkey was gone. So Digi decides he's going to hold a secret vote, not give Monkey the chance to defend himself, hold a secret vote to kick Mumkey out of the PCP. And I believe the vote would have went Mumkey's way, but Digibro sort of, like, rigged it by saying, if, you, if we don't kick Mumkey out of the PCP, I'm going to leave the fucking PCP. Mm -mm. So there was a secret vote held with a vote of four to three. Mumkey was kicked out of the PCP. Which is funny, because the way I actually discovered the PCP, this is kind of funny, Right, like, right after I discovered Monkey Jones, like, I had only been a fan of Monkey Jones for a couple weeks. I was not yet, I had not yet known that Monkey had a podcast, and I happened upon the video, Why I Was Kicked from the PCP, where Monkey explains why he was kicked from the PCP. And me, not knowing anything about the concept of the video, obviously, because I had never seen any of that shit, were more concerned with, oh, there was a podcast that at one point had Monkey Jones on it, I'm gonna go listen to an episode of that podcast with Monkey Jones in it, and I believe it was the, um, the episode about suicide that I listened to was my introduction to the PCP. It was Monkey was there, Digi was there. Obvi the, the only two members that matter were there. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I gotta say, uh, though, if I may interrupt for just a moment, I gotta say I think my, my uh, introduction to those guys was the... Uh, the Dick Show uh, lecture uh, series that they were doing, which, by the way, I think is my their favorite, uh, their, or my favorite series uh, of theirs that they've ever done, because I think I've watched yeah, the all of them. Lectures are pretty cool. Yeah, I've, I've watched all of them multiple times. Uh, that's how I, I figured out, like after uh, uh, that, that's how I figured out uh, 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 like all the shit about Chris Chan, because Asterios and Sharantia, uh started talking about Chris Chan and. I remember back in the old 4chan uh, V and Co days, 
where they would talk about Chris Chan, and I never really paid it too much attention to them because of fucking Sonachu. And uh, I, I wasn't really interested in uh, some dude's weird Christian knockoff uh, of Sonic because I thought that was just too weird for me. But in, ret in hindsight, I kind of wished I had paid a little bit more attention when it was just happening. But uh, still, uh, getting it, uh, Chris Chan is actually responsible for getting me uh, uh, more into the PCP. And their lecture series, I think, cemented it for me. Uh, wh what's your favorite one, Robin? Or do you do you have I a favorite? Have... Do you have a favorite PCP uh, themed uh, 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 video or whatever? I I mean I know nothing about the PCP. I mean I know like some of the members of it, like Digibro mainly, and then like you know Mumpkey and Mother's Basement. Oh right, all right, all right. Even though they're, even though they're not on it anymore. Uh, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, well, what about so, you? What about you then, Ryan? My favorite thing, my favorite thing to come out of the PCP, besides obviously like the main podcast itself, is probably, I've, I've said this because I actually like this more than the main podcast itself because I've said multiple times this is my favorite podcast of all time is the Insufferable Social Media Argument podcast, mm -hmm. starring Digibro and Monkey Jones. It's just, that's another big tragedy. Like Monkey always meets these people he has great performance chemistry with and then kind of just, like, fucks it up in one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that seems to be, like, the ever-present constant uh, with Monkey. And I say this with all due respect, not to shit on him or anything like that. I'm yeah, just, I, I you know, him, I'm just saying... Keeping friends. Yeah, yeah, for, for... Oh, shit, what the fuck? He's not great at keeping friends. Well, we say as we've shit-talked him multiple times on this very podcast. I mean, I've fucking worshipped him multiple times on this podcast. Hey, who server muted me? Uh, not uh, me. What, what, I got uh, server muted. Go to the audit logs. Oh, fucking Christ. Go to the audit logs. Someone did it. Yeah, uh, what the hell? Joey. We're... Yeah, I'm looking at Joey. Server settings, <laughs> audit logs, streamer mode enabled. God damn you, streamer mode. Okay. Yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Bitch. Trying to fuck Wait, with. You... Never mind. Never mind. Never Oops. mind. Um. So. Streamer mode, you get back on, you sexy thing. God, streamer mode, I think is like the best thing about this freaking app, is uh, uh, uh being able to turn off all the whoop whoop bloom 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 and all the fucking little noises that this application makes. So speaking of Monkey Jones not being able to keep friends, there's another person who had some drama with the PCP who you've definitely heard me talk about before. You've definitely heard me worship at his altar before. Ooh, uh, who, who, uh, and who would this be? Mr. Ass Burger perhaps had some uh, run-ins with the PCP. Okay, so what would Ass Burger's involvement with the PCP uh, be, Mr. Riley? <laughs> so... Asperger became acquainted with members of the PCP through Monkey Jones, obviously. He had met a couple of them because of the um, Anime Spectrum podcast, which was a podcast that Monkey and Burger did back in the day where Monkey, Asperger, and a guest would watch the first episode of an anime and review it. And after the first episode, which they did with Sai, it, it kind of became Monkey, Asperger, and a member of the PCP would review the first episode of the anime because I think every single guest was a member of the PCP besides Sai. And Burger developed a disdain for Digibro. He was not the biggest fan of Digibro. To the point where on the Anime Spectrum podcast on which they had Digibro on and they talked about King of the Hill, you know, the hit anime King of the Hill. Oh, God, I hate, you know, I, I fucking hate that meme so fucking much. <laughs> I hate how everyone wants to make everything cool in anime just because it's animated. Like King of the oh, Hill. Is so good. King of the Hill is so not an anime. But Ugh. Monkey's whole big meme is that everything's an anime. I think I think the last anime spectrum they did was about fucking Lazy Town. Oh man, it's Lazy Town. An anime than King of the Hill. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> and you know, like the people who made Lazy Town, they're a bunch of stand-up guys. Uh, excuse me. Uh, they're a bunch of stand-up guys. I really liked all the work they did. They were uh, like sort of a beacon of positivity for kids, and they made a really good kids show. 
and it's sort of really sad to see the uh, uh, the main guy, the, uh, the the head honcho of the group, uh, end up coming down with cancer and unfortunately pass Perfect away a couple of years. Episodes. Yeah, that that was that was a bummer, and I got into that like a little bit like before the cancer was uh, 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 announced back in like 2009, 2010-ish, because, uh, well, I, I'm an old fogey, and so for me to sort of like un not understand what these crazy kids are pumping out these days, like you start to ask questions and you start to figure out, oh, this is the stuff that the kids are in, really into these days. This is the stuff that they grew up with. And I'm like, oh, okay, so when was this out? Like 96, 97? You're like, no, like 2008, 2009, bro. It's like, dude, it's 2010. How old are you? <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I got into I got into that. It was it's a real shame to see that guy go. That there were a good little uh, performance troupe. You don't really get those uh, very much these days. Everything's so corporate and uh, so put together. Uh, but anyway, uh, off subject. Uh, Riley, my bad. Continue. So Asperger on the anime spectrum when they had Digibro on, it's sort of like I think this was pre-planned between him and Monkey. I don't think Digibro knew, but um, it's it turned into Asperger trying to fucking roast Digibro's entire existence, and it not really going well. Like Digibro defended himself pretty well. A lot of people listened to the podcast said that Asperger was a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, all you have to literally so, all you have to do is say like you like Lollicon, and then like you win. Like how do you? How do you come back from that if you're Digibro, you know? <laughs> I mean, Digibro comes back from that pretty well. Yeah, no one he seems to... It at this point. Yeah, no one seems to care anymore. Uh, uh, like, I think it's a little creepy, but whatever. It's not my life, and I'm not really condoning it. Uh, not condemning it either, but I, I'm really not condoning it. But whatever. It's, like I said, not my life. So not really my problem. And I suppose you, you can only answer to your girlfriend. And, you know, to the courts when... You you might fuck up, and people who do that they they kind of a little bit weird like that. But anyway, anyway, uh, fucking up. Uh, hold on, what in the world's going on? Hey, hey hello. Oh, what's hello. <laughs> what's this? Oh, this isn't mine. This is yours. Oh, all right. Weird. <sighs> Huh. What, Good now? Oh, yeah, Physicians Mutual. I have no idea who these people are. I'm not with these guys. I don't have def I don't have, like, fucking Jesus. These fucking people, they're, uh, they're a life insurance beneficiary card. Like, I don't think I'm, I don't think I actually have any, uh, life insurance. Is this you talking to us, or this is you talking to somebody else? Oh, no, this, this is some, uh... Oh no no! So my uh, my mom uh, just uh, popped in for a second to give me this, and uh, uh, it's a life insurance beneficiary card. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, personal offer code. Oh, okay. So I don't actually have this. This is fucking junk mail. Get the fuck out of here! My God, fucking jeez. Just because I'm 40 doesn't mean I need life insurance, okay? I've been getting these weird spam fucking life insurance mail uh, uh, mail bits uh, since I turned like 33, 34. I'm like, dude, this is such a fucking waste of goddamn paper and trees. I honestly feel bad for the forest and all the critters that had to die just to send me this this crap. Anyway, uh, once once you turn 40, all the uh, mail spam thinks that you're like you're gonna die next year. You know, like you're 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 basically like 100 to them. Oh, dude, like, honest to God, man, I, I, uh, I, I didn't think that I was going to make it yet, because yesterday was my, uh, was my birthday, and, uh, it was my 40th birthday, and I, I just suddenly, it's the first time that I've ever had this, I, I thought that I was probably going to die in my sleep, uh, because, like, you know, life isn't without a sense of irony, like, 40 is sort of a milestone, it's like, it's sort of like life telling you, hey, kid, you, you, you got what it takes. You, you might just make it in this town. And, you know... I was fucking 23 years old. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess I am, huh? I'm small boy. You are small boy, but old boy is here to teach you right from wrong, good sir. And hopefully... Thank 
Hopefully my teachings, when you depart from me eventually, uh, they will shield you from the stupid fucking world that you're going to uh, unfortunately inherit from me, because we, we have no... Uh, we, we have no plans whatsoever. Uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, it's, the ship is on fire, and, and it, it's like those old timeys, like turn of the last century fire trucks. Instead of having a hose, they give us like a couple of freaking buckets, and like, here, go throw water on this burning freaking structure fire. And they're like, okay. So I grab the bucket of water and I throw it down there, and I'm like, oh, this does absolutely nothing. And. It, we could all. Fire, but nobody wants to give up their blanket. But see, here's the thing. Cover it. Well, yeah, cause like it's hot in here. Turn it down. Oh my god, you know. See, I have a lot of other firefighters with me, but they're all like fucking teamster unionists and shit. And yeah, I'm stealing a Simpsons joke from here. Everyone deal with it. And you know, they're just sort of listless and lazy, just going. You know, just stretching about and shit, and they're not helping me put out the fire that is America. So, uh, Riley, in probably a year or two, when you finally graduate school and you become to, you know, you start having funny feelings about girls and you get hair in weird places I mean, you I didn't have weird. school in like three months, Mo. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I, I wasn't, uh, well, thank you for totally checking me on the podcast, man. I totally appreciate like that. A good Christian boy, you're not allowed to have feelings about girls until you're 18 or above. Oh, oh yeah, fuck, because I've had feelings about girls for a long time. Yes, because love and sexuality do not exist till oh, you're boys, over really. 18. I'm oh, told, I'm told at like age four that I asked a Hooters girl for a number. <laughs> well, at least you started early. Hey, hell yeah, you start early. Good for you. <laughs> at least you got the confidence. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. I'd kill for fucking four-year-old Riley's confidence. You watch Monkey Jones. Where's the confidence there? Hey, baby. <laughs> well, he did it reverse, you know, instead of like, well, n never mind. You know, I'm not even going to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, like, instead of like, you know, going for, well, I was going to make a joke that he went for the pedophile. And, you, you know, it's just like, it's a whole, like, I have to explain it. He was just moving on, moving on. <laughs> he found his beautiful, nice girl and then went for the fucking gross-ass pedophile instead. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like, hey, would you like this nice Subway sandwich that we just made fresh for you, or would you like this pile of shit? Or do you want a Ooh, pile of shit, please. Cheese from the dumpster. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's it past the pile of shit. Oh, yeah, that's probably worse than a pile of shit, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, two, oof. Oof, I say. Oof. But anyway, uh, Even we're... Half-eaten ham and cheese in the trash is worse than a literal pile of shit. Well, depending on your perspective, maybe the shit has corn, and maybe you like corn. I don't know. There's got to be a silver oh, lining. I mean, there's got to be a silver lining to everything, anyway, right? Asperger. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, anyway, we go so ahead. After so after Asperger gets uh, shut down on the podcast, he um he claps back in a way more his speed, and he makes a diss track about Digibro. You know, the, oh, let me interrupt for one real quick. The dude, they all are super, pa like, you can notice that, like, a lot of them are sort of passive-aggressive to what, like, they never talk to each other. They always talk to each other through other podcasts and through other videos and through yeah. other people. And I just think that's fucking hysterical in, in a, uh, it's a real kind of sad sort of way. But, you know, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> Go ahead, Riley. I mean... Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, Digibro Digi diss track comes out. It's fairly well received, I guess. And in the diss track, Asperger does challenge Digibro to rap back. And he does indeed. Digibro releases his counter diss track. And it's actually, like, fairly well received. All, like, the Monkey fans who figure Digibro probably can't rap for shit. Is like, oh, this is actually pretty good. Get fucked, Asperger. And apparently this, combined with some other shit that happened in his life, made Asperger actually disappear from the internet for a good couple months. After oh. the Asperger diss track. He was in Digibro. jail. No, this was, a, this was years before that. This was like 2017. Okay. He went to jail in 2018. Yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're jumping ahead in the timeline here. <laughs> That will come up, though. That does have oh, something I, to do with the PCP. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I, I know it does. It does. But anyway, <laughs> so go ahead. anyway, so the so 
but at, but during that time burger is gone the pcp drama goes down monkey gets kicked from the pcp and that's when burger comes back that's when he gets revenge for his fallen comrade and releases oh, no, the diss track i don't want to get revenge by burger oh no <laughs> <laughs> releases the diss track releases the diss track on the whole fucking pcp that's actually a fucking slap I love that shit, even though I still love the PCP. The RIP PCP is a fucking bomb. You just got burgered. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, just got, PCP comes out. You got bodied by a burger. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, that's like the trilogy the trilogy <laughs> of diss tracks that was the beef between burger and the PCP. But the other beef between burger and the PCP is actually Ben Saints had a girlfriend who he had broken up with uh -oh. and her name was Jackie <laughs> and after Jackie bro after Ben Saint broke it off with Jackie Mumkey introduced Jackie to Mr. Asperger and uh, uh that's another beef between that Burger well, and the huh? PCP yeah, oh yeah well. and, and then the bromance the started Burger and the PCP was that Ben sort of like called out Jackie on Twitter like he made like a super passive aggressive tweet like if you have a girlfriend who like manipulates you emotionally manipulates the, with you just fucking dump her it'll be hilarious ben brought out that tweet just like low key calling out jackie so ben like not ben burger went off on ben and like i think it was monkey sonic adventure 2 let's play burger went off on ben saint <laughs> and yeah that happened and then you know the, the burger and Jackie relationship didn't go very well. Some alcohol was consumed that shouldn't have been consumed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let's let's stop joking about the domestic violence. We're really beating the dead horse. <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god. I think Asperger was out of the uh, under the influence. He was mentally mentally ill and depressed and an alcoholic. And I don't think at, Brandon the person should be blamed for the horrible actions he committed on that night while completely out of his fucking mind. And now he's been sober since it happened. So we've made a change in society. Well, wait, wait, hold, hold on a second. Brandon, right, is, it, Brandon is a good man. Wait, all right, so so we're, we're caught up on that timeline then? Or is this like a separate incident? Because I, I know of the him and his chick and, and all that stuff. Hold, hold on, I, I, I'm confused. Where, where, where does this fit in on that timeline? Or are we talking about, like, a totally separate incident here? Because I don't know shit about um, that. About Burger beating his girlfriend? That's, like, the whole big thing. No, no, no. I, I, was this the time that, uh, was this the first, like, the only time? Or was this, like, a second, yeah. a first time? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No second time. Oh, okay, I, I'm sorry. Happened. He went to prison for a while, and then oh, he I, was I, over. Because well, we made the joke of us jumping ahead in the timeline. Okay, because I'm just trying to follow your uh, uh, yeah. your explanation here. My bad. Sorry about I that. Just brought, I just brought up the Jackie stuff because like, it kind of had to be brought up because I had to bring up Jackie because of the Ben Saint drama. Oh, okay, Jackie okay, okay. Ben okay. Saint. Jackie was Ben Saint's girl before he was Burger's girl. Oh, damn. That's another weird thing about, like, podcasters and all this shit. Like, dude, everyone has got to stop sharing each other's mates. It's getting fucking weird, and it's getting out of hand. Because, like, there's a few other stories. Like Ben and Burger, Dick didn't know. Well, no, 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 no. That That's, well, uh, you know, on, honestly, like, uh, if it's an ex, though, and if it's an ex, like, years and years removed, like, maybe if it were, like, a few months removed, maybe, like, Max would have, like, a say in it. Because, like, you know, heartache feels bad, but... After a few years and you're you're with other girlfriends, like you kind of lose the right to complain. This is just my opinion, though. Well, because like I, I've gotten with a chick, like with, that was with a friend of theirs, a friend of a friend of ours, uh, like yeah, ben, months and months ben and months after they broke Asperger up. And more concerned for Asperger because he knew that Jackie was not a great girl. Well, I, I don't, all right. So let, let's go ahead and just uh drop that then since we're, we're we we don't really want to I, I guess robin is totally right maybe yeah. we, maybe we shouldn't like yeah this isn't yeah this isn't god PCP, so we can jump ahead of that so, yeah 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 the pcp itself they talk about a whole shit ton of stuff and i really enjoy the pcp it's like a whole a bunch of different people 
talking about a bunch of different things. There's something for everybody in the PCP. You took, you look through the episode log, you find some topics you like, you listen to those episodes, and you get hooked. They're just charming people, as weird and as weird as they are. All right, so let's just talk, or start talking about like them individually, and uh, I, I'm sure that you'll talk I actually, about. Go ahead. Through through a secret Twitter account that I have that I will not reveal that has to do with the PCP, I do have my definitive ranking of PCP members from worst to best, so we can go through. Oh it in my that god! Order. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. You you know what? Uh, go ahead and do that. That that'll be that'll be our our way to talk about like uh, uh, them individually, okay? Because honest to God, I had nothing set up except like the usual like a uh, Brian Gumble. So what do you think about this guy? He's kind of a little bitch, so, don't you think? You know, other yeah. I had nothing. I had nothing besides that. All right, so, uh, so Riley, you have a list for worst to best. Let's go ahead and start talking worst about the worst in terms of entertainment individually and on the podcast. At the bottom, I have, at the bottom at number eleven, I've got Tommy Oliver. Who the fuck is Tommy Oliver? He's the arrow. Tommy Oliver. He's the what? <laughs> No, the joke you were looking for is the Green Power Ranger. That's literally his name. Oh, but that's Tommy what it Oliver, is. Oh. Tommy what Oliver is Oliver? also Oliver Queen is the Arrow. Oliver Queen. Tommy oh, Oliver damn, is the, the joke, Green Power Ranger. You people are like making like two like pop culture <laughs> reference jokes, and they're literally flying over each other, and it's really funny because I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. Oliver quit. No, like Green. Like, the only thing he's got the other than Green Ranger. And like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Tommy Oliver is the Green Ranger. Oliver. Queen yes, 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 yes. So Tommy Oliver is also a member of the PCP. Also goes by the name Holly Station. And I see why he's he... stuck with Tommy Oliver. <laughs> and he's uh, he's fine, I guess. He just like the least entertaining of the group. He's he's like a cool guy. Like he's nice. He's he's just he not cool. In, he voted in favor of Monkey, so that automatically makes him one of the coolest guys in the PCP. The three <laughs> who voted in favor of Monkey are the good ones. Wait, is this at the top of your list or the bottom? This is the bottom of my list, but I'm saying he's good because he voted for Monkey, but he's just not super entertaining. It automatically makes him cool, but then he's at the bottom of your list. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is based on this is based on entertainment. In terms of being a guy, a good guy, he's close to the top. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like, probably going to go... Jess it's probably... is, Endless Jess is much later on this list, and yet I think he's the worst guy in the PCP. It's probably, like, like reversed, right? Worst. Like, the top of the list is shitty, huh? <laughs> um, possibly, possibly. A little for um, column A, a little bit for column B, huh? Yeah. Okay, this should so, be good then. All right, so the next one after Tommy... Oliver Queen Ranger. <laughs> the next one, number 10, is Jeff from Mother's Basement. All right, Jeff from Mother's Basement. Who the fuck is that, and why do we care? <laughs> He's a, a very popular anime YouTuber, actually. I believe the, in terms of subscribers, the most popular member of the PCP, if you count him as a member of the PCP, even though he's not anymore. He has more subs than Digibro. But he has been a part of the PCP, right? Yeah, and he, he was, and he is he is a part of the PCP mythos, the lore, if you will. Yes. He's oh, okay. Okay. Was officially okay. Officially inducted as a member of the PCP, was on a couple episodes, and then uh, Monkey decided we're gonna kick this guy off, and other other people were on board, so Jeff went bye bye. And, and and this is the one where they they were getting all butt hurt that they didn't. Was this the one that let his uh, wallet do the talking instead of his quote unquote? artistic yep, morals the shill king jeff Thu, yep fuck that dude right now man i would shill fucking raid shadow legends so bad because i'm living with my mom and dad I mean, right now and I I, I I i would so legends. do it like I, and i don't care if you shill just like shill cool shit like you know once you don't have to shill harry's razors for instance and you can shill cool shit then do that but in order to move out of your parents fucking house man you you shill whatever the fuck is offered to you, man. Yep. So yeah. Speaking Jeff. of shill, you can head over to Fate Grips. <laughs> yes, you can go to Fate Grips dot store. Huh. You know, I, I feel like 
I, I feel like a bitch for having them as it's like I used to have like a spiel for them, but then like a lot of my long term fans started like, you know, showing up and go, Hey Mo, what's going on? Yeah, hey. So I went to FadeGrips.store and put promo code and then they started coming up with variations of my spiel and they started making fun of me. But the like the, the best ones are fucking Paul's because for some reason or another it's oh, just Mo is a cuck to save fifteen percent on your and I made zero money, so I I, I got I, I cucked for, I cucked to fade grips for the, you know, and, and that's that's fine, that's fine. If if eventually people make it to to me and they see, hey, fade grips, I like these guys, and I make a few bucks, that's cool. But and I, I don't really have a problem with that. But anyway, yeah, Jeff, Jeff on the podcast is just that he's not like super good at talking in a group to me like i enjoy his individual content i'll watch it every once in a while because he's good he's like a good informative guy like i i'm interested to hear his thoughts on shit but like he's not good at talking in a big group what with, is like, PCP loud, about anime? strong loud strong loud people like endless jess and digibro it's hard for him to talk over well the pcp guys are made up of a bunch of weebs but it's primarily about like interesting subjects like suicide death taxes a uh, bunch oh, of normie, sh uh, uh, no a bunch of normie shit plus like you know animation. The suicide episode was my first episode. That's what I said earlier. That's how I got into it. Uh, I think mine was things we couldn't get into, and it's one of my favorite ones because it has all of them yelling at each other. Like there's there's the one YouTuber in the group that isn't uh, that the yellow episode? Yeah, isn't the, that the episode where endless Jess argues about the color yellow for hours. God, I, I fucking love that. And then fucking uh, since it was Digibro's turn to edit or whatever, he would in interject like video portions of him and going, listen. So I was kind of thinking that that's like my favorite goddamn episode because it's so fucking like I love hearing endless Jess yell and scream. I think that's the biggest he reason. Talked about that. He talked about that in the video after he kicks Monkey off the show where he just sits on Monkey for 20 minutes. He says that that was the best episode of the PCP and that Jess is much funnier than Monkey on the PCP, which I disagree with. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. Hear about that later. Hmm. All right. So anyway, on back to your list. At number nine is, I believe, what might be one of Mo's favorite members, the Hippocrit. Hypocrite. Yeah, I, I like his stuff. Uh, it, it's I can't really recall too much of it other than like it's your typical like it's a bunch of anime stuff and uh, some video game shit. But like I, I seem to really like him a whole lot in in the uh, the podcast. Like some of the favorite episodes I, uh, that I like uh, to listen to a lot. Uh, uh, he's he's in there. <laughs> Hippo was in a lot of them. Like. At least, like, especially when Monkey was on the show, I think Hippo was, like, one of the people he liked, so he'd, like, really tr make sure that, like, Hippo would show up if he was going to show up. Which Hippo ended up betraying his, his, his senpai ended up betraying him, because Hippo did vote against Monkey. Ooh, top ten anime betrayals. Uh, go ahead, yeah. e elaborate, please. I don't know anything about that. Well, it's just the, see... I already brought up the secret vote. Everybody voted whether to kick Monkey off the PCP. Or oh, he he's one of the ones that voted against the Monkey. Yes. Oh. Although, to be fair, that isn't an instant death sentence, because, like, a lot of it was the Digibro strongmanning. Like, um, uh, Monkey still likes Nate, best guy ever, even though he did end up voting against him because of Digi threatening to leave. Shh. <laughs> That's fucking but crazy like, how... Monkey, Monkey legitimately, like, idolized Hippo, and then Hippo voted against him, and was, like, one of the first ones to be like, hey, I guess Jess isn't very happy with this guy, we should kick him off the PCP. Yeah, no shit, talk about never meeting your heroes, am I right? And, uh... Yeah. The, that's, that's, what I, that's what I'm, uh... Really, uh, you know, the, the shows make the guys pretty cool and pretty great. It, it's the stuff behind the scenes, though... Uh, about the group that is a uh, fucking phenomenal in, in like a in a psychotic sort of I have no friends and no life sort of way <laughs> because like you, you just watch all this stuff like hey I like to talk about you know uh, 80s cartoons and by the way your girlfriend's a whore and I fucked her last night which is essentially exactly what constantly goes on or like I'm going to vote against you I'm going to vote you off the fucking island and, you know I, it's just 
I I listened to that shit. These like Survivor people get voted off. Oh, but it's like weeb on weeb violence. Isn't it like an FBI statistic? It, it's got to be, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, well, that's something that we got to fucking research big time. Yeah, because it's uh, like this soft-spoken British guy. And I like him, but like when he's in a bit, he's another, he has the same problem as Jeff when he's in a big group setting. It's hard for him to get his word in well with the, with the rowdy fuckers such as Digi and Jess and Nate. Yeah, now the 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 big th what one of the show one of the episodes blah, blah, blah. Uh, burp. One of the episodes that I really like is the uh, the sex episode, and uh, that's that's a huge example of never being able to get in a word in edgewise, because all of them there, there's in each of their fucking stories there's a part. Where they all yell at over each other and at each the other. Sex or the virginity episode. I think it's the sex or virginity. I, I I don't know. I I think it, it could be sex. It, it's it's the one with the sex with the young, uh, chant. The sex with the young. Excuse me. Sex. Oh, that's like there's a whole bunch of episodes with that chant in it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Was yeah. I have no idea. It's been like a year and a half since I've, or a year, year or so, since I've even listened to anything PCP related. Like I'll, I'll watch them on, I'll watch them on Twitter and all that. But like normally though, I, I don't really, I'm not really interested in talking to really any of them. I don't even really want to talk to Monkey that much, but I do, just to see if he'll like uh, acknowledge my presence, just to see if I can get that. Because like every, because everything's every, because everything's a game, right? You know, it, it's to see how like uh, how uh, how easily you can get like controversial figures to acknowledge your presence, or or to just get get you to say something retarded, or uh, like get them to like something retarded, like for example, uh, Tana Mongul, or the the chick who married a. What, one of the fucking Pauls. No, 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 no. I, I gotta talk about it because oh. this is fucking funny. Uh, she she put out the tweet, "I'm getting married," and I said, "To a retard" is the end of that sentence. And she fucking liked my tweet, and about like ninety others, uh, ninety of her fans fucking did. Tana so I. You liked your tweet about Jake Paul being a retard. Yeah, 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 boo, dude. I I have it on my hard drive. I I posted it here on the methamphetamines board uh, here in the in the cantina, but uh, yeah, it, it's on my hard drive somewhere. But it was like a fucking it was a honor. Uh, to, cause, like, you know, that shit was fucking d dead in the water anyway. Like, you talk about, like, celebrity or political de uh, 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 relationships that you know are DOA, that are just doing, they're just doing this for the cameras and the, the, the so-called paparazzi and shit, cause they're very, very famous and very, very rich. You know, like, yeah, I, I so called... You gotta get them lay epic viewers by being a couple... Well, yeah, because you can't be fucking unmarried in today's society. I mean, God forbid you actually become like a single individual and not have to worry about having to have somebody. You don't have to be married. It's it's reason why I, I kind of hate the the romantic trope. The, the, the OTP has to get together in, in shows and shit like that. Like, I just kind of... I, I, I kind of wish... That they would just stop doing that, you know. But anyway, I'm getting off point, and that's another rant for another day. Uh, all, back to the list, Miss Senior Ivy. Okay, so yep, next on the list is Lethal or Maze, the girl of PCP, the one only girl. Oh God! In the Procrastinators podcast, <laughs> and and of course she didn't last long, did she? God bless her soul. Yeah, God bless her. No, God help her. <laughs> she's still in the PCP. Oh, she hasn't been like, you know, she, like she didn't get like loads tossed at her or anything by the guys. She's actually still in the she hasn't like ran no, away see, screaming. Is, loads tossed at her? Well, yeah, I don't know. I I look at them and I can see Digibro getting mad at you just like fucking smacking one out and just fucking sp and spider manning a fucking load right at you. I'm sorry. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Stop it. 
Wop, wop, wop. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, bro. Gregor is my husbando, and I will not have you talking bad about him. <laughs> but. He'll treat you good. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he, won't t but, but he won't tell you more than twice. Anyway, boom. Uh, we're done with that. We're done. Uh, maybe I'll cut that out. Uh, maybe, maybe I should cut that out. That, that was pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, you say you wanted to try to get Asperger on the show, and you're out here making these. Yeah, you know, okay, fun. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like he would, uh, he would take Vince Fried, I think. Come on. Oh, I, time. I, I wouldn't do wife beating jokes in front of him, though. I'd feel pretty oh, bad. in front of him, but I think he would take it and try it if he heard we had done. Well, yeah, because I, I don't fucking hate the guy or anything. I don't hold anything against the guy. I don't, I wouldn't trust him as a person, but, you know, because I'll always have that in the back of my head. Like, dude, so you going to beat your fucking chick today or are you going to try and beat my ass or something? You know, in the back of my head, but that's just a personal thing. But he's also never done a fucking thing to me. And, you know, I'll I'll at least give him the time of day. He seems like a nice enough fella, and hopefully his time in jail has taught him to not raise a hand to another woman, and hopefully he's taking his meds, and, you know, maybe he found, like, a way to... Yeah, he's been sober for over a year now. That's good, that's good, that's good. Wow, I just had a dude sign up, sign in in, uh, in fucking Steam that I haven't seen in about a year, year and a half, from uh, my old uh, PUBG streaming days, uh, just sign in. Holy shit, that fucking blows my mind. Sorry, wow. go ahead. What a tangent. So, the thing about Mage, <laughs> she's another one who's soft spoken and can't get a word in edgewise, but that's like become a meme with her. She's like embraced. Right, because she's woman. She is woman. And also, she. The funny thing about Mage is like. Nobody in the group knows a goddamn thing about Mage. Like, as last I heard, literally only Hippo has seen a picture of her. Oh, and wow. Like, nobody knows her real name. Only Hippo's seen her. Has she uh, had any notable contributions to the group? I mean, she's been on a bunch of episodes. She's had her good moments. She's, like every other one has their moments. Mage is a member of the PCP. <laughs> Which is sort of in the lower middle of the list. Lower middle of the list? Okay, okay. So then we're, we're, we're done with the, the, the bottom, so let's go ahead and get into the middle. And let's start getting into sort of like what you think of them and all that shit. And, uh, uh, I don't know, sort of the finer details of them then. So number seven is Mr. Gavu. Video editor to the stars, game maker, podcaster. All right. He is. He's a very interesting guy. Like I'd say he's like weird. Like, and he doesn't like use his weirdness to his advantage as well as like Jess or Digi. Mm hmm. But he's still entertaining to listen to. He's just not as entertaining to listen to as some of the others. Um, he has. Stepped away from the PCP to work, uh, focus more on his game development. So hopefully that goes well for him. According to that shit talking video, though, it seems like he was on the verge of losing his job on Digibro's main channel. Um, I think he quit that job. Oh, is it he quit? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, what games does he work on then? Has he ever worked on anything that I would have heard of? Uh, no, nothing big. I think he's just been hard at work developing. I think he released something, like, recently to download. I don't think it's anything he's done. He's just been working with it, you know. Oh, okay. As Navu, we... is a young... Navu is a young man. He has he has his whole life ahead of him to do this shit. Navu is but a lad. Well, I, I know. I, oh, uh, uh, what, what, uh, do you know what the game uh, do you know the game? Uh, what was the, the game was that he uh, put out? Like, what was the play style? What was the uh, you know this uh, and that? Like, cause I know nothing about uh, that guy. Unfortunately, no, I don't really know anything about Naboo's game. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, w w what's he known for in the PCP besides editing? What what else has he done? Um, he's kind of just like. A big meme that's associated with him. I don't know how this meme came about. I don't think I listened to the episode where it happened, but like, 
there's a lot of big like recurring memes with the PZP, and Davu is one of the big ones. The, uh, what, what, the, what's the, the meme? meme what's comes, the meme? The big meme that comes up with Davu is like that the whole fucking world is a hive mind called the Davu Collective. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Davu Collective? I guess it's a hive mind. I don't know. I didn't listen to the episode where it was introduced. I know it just gets brought brought up all the time. To 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 much laughter. Uh. Like there was an there was an episode where they were talking about like at the end potential bonus episode ideas, and I think it was uh no I think it was the let's play and uh monkey was there it was when monkey went to Digi's house and it was like monkey Digi Ben and uh, Digi and monkey's girlfriend so May and Sheep, and I think it was actually Sheep who came up with the idea of like doing a bonus episode where each PCP member pretends to be another PCP member and like does an impression the whole time. Oh my god, that would be fucking madness. It would stand up like being, it would be funny for like 10 minutes, and then it would be like screaming and fighting for like 50 more. Because... I watch that, but just Mother's Basement and Digibro impersonating each other. Oh my dear god. <laughs> but, uh, um, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> I think, I think Digi, uh, it was either Digi or Monkey who said that like after they do that episode, they do another one where... It's the Davu Collective, so they edit just every single one of them doing a Davu impression. Oh dear God! <laughs> All right. Davu's funny. He's really kind of like weird, but he's entertaining. And then right. number six is the the controversial figure, the man himself, Endless Jess. Endless Jess. Oh dear God! Like, see, I I like this guy a lot. I love hearing him just yell and scream about shit, but uh. I've I've seen some of the shit that he'll say online, and then he'll he'll leave for, uh, for just like a, a long period of time, and never gets brought up again. Uh, well, what is what is he in the PCP Jess collective? Jess is very sensitive. Like when bad stuff comes up, he doesn't want it talked about or freak out. Like there was actually, I think this is the last episode Jeff was on. I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but there was a, a situation that Jess had that. Uh, Jeff brought up, but apparently it pissed Jess that he brought it up so bad that when Digi edited, he had to like cut in and say, like right when Jeff was saying the sentence, he was like, Jeff then proceeded to say something that happened to Jess that he doesn't want brought up again, so I'm cutting it out. Oh god damn, that's gotta be a pain in the ass to like edit like shit like that because you 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 can't do like I do when I'm editing this show and just you know trying to get those uh, dead air spots or. Uh, the parts where I just flub up and can't fucking say a goddamn sentence to save my life. Uh, and it, it's it's got to suck to have to sit there and intensely listen to the conversation that you're having just to make sure you don't do something stupid like dox yourself or uh, say you tried to have sex with the freaking sheep or something. Uh, but anyway, sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, so Jess is a crybaby, he's annoying, but he's funny. I mean, listening to him fucking scream and fight is hilarious. He's a, he's a lol cow, he's a spurg. Yeah, it, it seems like there's not a conversation he's not willing to get into a screaming match uh, with somebody. And, like, uh, listening to him and uh, uh, Ben Saint get into it you know, in a few episodes that I can recall right now. Uh, was fuck it. It, it was just it, most times when I listen to the PCP podcast, I'm surprised that it doesn't end up with a fucking break. That it didn't end up with a breakup uh, every single time because you listen ben to. Ben Saint is like the punching bag of the PCP. I think a lot of it's a bit, but Ben Saint gets a lot of shit on the PCP. I kind of thought that it was Digi Bro to be quite honest because he's always getting flack Ma, from somebody. Uh... Monkey actually did a lot of shitting on Ben Saint, but it's um, it, we we've since figured out that that was definitely a bit because like he's one of the members of the PCP that Monkey still really likes. Like Ben Saint is a mod in his Twitch chat and stuff. Oh no shit, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. And I've actually the last couple Twitch streams Monkey did, which were a long time ago, because he kind of just stopped streaming on Twitch again for no reason. I would say. <laughs> I would spam in the chat, please start a podcast with Ben Saint. It would literally cure my depression, and people would join in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go he ahead. Was actually, 
this, the saddest betrayal in history is that um, Monkey brought back his sh- movie review podcast as a Kino on Twitch for like two episodes and then disappeared out of nowhere. Well, after the stream of the first episode, when they were looking at chat, I had a, Ben was in chat and I said, Ben, you should go on as a Kino. And Ben was like, I'm down. And they actually like started talking to Ben and trying to set up a Kino. And then they just Aww. stopped. Ben and Flo- not Ben and Florian, and Monkey and Florian just stopped doing Is Aquino out of nowhere and never acknowledged it, and it never happened. Oh, that's the shame. That would have been a really cool episode. I really like Is Aquino a whole lot. It's it's kind of ridiculous, but it's it's nice to just have that in the background. They deleted the iTunes feed. They deleted the podcast feed. Oh no, I, shit! I was so but I was so distraught. Like I'm like. Every once in a while, I'm like, I'm gonna download a couple random episodes of Izakino, and then one day I go to re, I go to reload the feed, and it's like, oh, podcast URL no longer available, and I'm like, no. Hmm. Uh, before we get into the rest of the list, and let's go ahead and pick up pace a little bit because we're at the hour mark now. Um, Ooh. Oh yeah, like we actually we we've done very well, been able to talk because uh, we we made the hour mark, and that's always the goal for every uh, podcast that we do. Because I figure if we could talk about a subject for about an hour, then we actually at least have something to say. Or we've managed to string along like a, a, a enough irrelevant bullshit <laughs> that we can fill up the show. But anyway, um... I just blah. look up PCP Yellow, and the video is 46 minutes, called the PCP Yellow Argument. <laughs> oh, oh no shit. Dude, I, I, all right, then I'm going to be watching that later on because it's, it's got some of yeah, my favorite. Yeah, you to link me to that, Rob, and I'm watching that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but one thing that I, I, I did want to comment on because I really like this about the PCP podcast a whole lot was uh, uh, since it's, it's pretty much nothing but audio, but sometimes they'll get like an artist in there uh, that will uh, do something with the, 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 the background scenery, the picture, because there's uh, uh, the, the thumbnail. Uh, for the video and uh, uh, one of them was they had all of the heads of the PCP members that were in that episode uh, talking like uh, fucking Ca- uh, South Park Canadians during the entire time and I watched oh, the episode cool. I-, I watched the episode I don't remember what it was right off the top of my head but I watched that episode twice uh, because uh, of that little uh, that little thing uh, that they'll do like they they have they have some pretty decent uh, uh, artists and people uh, contributing uh, to to the show and all that jazz. But anyway, I'm going to get off on a fucking rant here. So Riley, go ahead with the list. Get back to the list, I should say.
All right, so um, number five on the list, the top five PCP members of all time. Number five. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and just uh, give it to us like a, a two at a time. Okay, so number five and number four then are actually are actually a good one to put into a duo because they are brothers. Number five and four are Nate, best guy ever, and Ben Saint. Oh no shit! All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, one. Oh, uh oh, Riley. Oh no. Uh oh, you done muted You're yourself. Muted. <laughs> cat wanted to leave my mom's room so I had to let him out. Oh no problem, no problem. Um but yeah, Nate and Ben are brothers, two best brothers, bitch about ponies, their original podcast. Uh yeah, I I remember they were also all like what X M L P yeah, fans. Funny thing correct? About the PCP is literally all of them were bronies. <laughs> except Ugh. for Monkey. The, uh, except for Monkey and Jeff, I think, are the only ones that are, like, tried and true anime people. I think the rest of them started as bronies and evolved into anime. I honestly do not get the appeal of MLP at all. It, it's fucking crazy how, how like, well, then again, I, I don't know. I don't get the appeal of cream corn either, but I'm told it's really good. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> cream corn is fine. Well. So, yeah. Um, Nate is one of the regular old loud get in your face PCP members and he's very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Ben is like mellow, but he still finds his way into the show and is very entertaining. He has ben a is like he yeah. ha he has quite the presence on uh Twitter, I've noticed, and he's very uh like left leaning politically minded. And this isn't like a knock or anything, but I I do see myself sort of disagreeing a little bit here and there with some of his personal political beliefs. But you know, yeah, to each the their that own. Ben, ben but, Saint now is like he's the most uber left man on. The planet. Yeah, I, I I see that he's been called like and there's like not even a, a month that won't pass by where someone will go, fucking social justice warrior Ben Saint, <laughs> universal healthcare. <laughs> And, and all this shit, and I, I I go back and I'll check out the tweet, and I'm like, dude, how the fuck did you extrapolate all this shit from just one in from seemingly innocuous tweet about healthcare? It wasn't that big of an issue. What I don't appreciate about Ben saying is one political thing he did where he endorsed Andrew Yang as a joke. Oh, boo. And then was like, and then was like, just kidding, please support Bernie Sanders. Yeah, I remember Andrew Yang, uh, 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 Ben Saint, and Digibro, uh, it, it, it was it Ben Saint and Digibro? Uh, they had a, a, a very public, a very civilized uh, disagreement about the, uh, the, the, uh, the, oh, w w what's the fucking word I'm, I'm looking for? The benefits, I guess, the advantages of having Andrew Yang versus Bernie Sanders as, as president. And I actually happened to side with, uh, uh, with the Andrew Yang Digibro uh, uh, side of this argument because I really do think oh, that Andrew... Oh, Digi Oh, yeah, yeah. If, I, if I'm not... If I recall... Yeah. If I recall correctly, he endorsed uh, Andrew Yang publicly. If this was last year and months and months ago, and I, I couldn't tell you for the life of me like when this was... But I, I did read the entire thread. It was pretty fucking good, and both sides brought up really great points. It it really goes to show you that you can be a public personality, and you don't have to be an overbearing, overarching dick about everything that you believe in, because it actually the kind of funny but kind of weird thing is that um some Ben brought up on a podcast is that he apparently like sold or is selling Yang t-shirts and he's donating all the proceeds to Bernie's campaign. Oh my dear god. <laughs> that, all right, I, I would be opposed to that, but like the guy who likes to laugh uh it, it laughs is that I'm laughing my ass off inside if that's fucking true. Uh that that would just be too goddamn good. Anyway, 
So uh, we, we talk about Ben, ben Saint, controversial, uh, political, blah, blah. So what are, what are the other two that we got left? Because yeah, number one, because like, because no, number one, number one's Digibro, isn't it? Um, I love how you assume Digibro. I was expecting you guys both to assume Monkey was going to be the number I one. I assumed it would be Monkey. Uh, I, I figured it yeah, would be yeah. like two or uh, one or two would be Monkey. Yeah. So before we get to Monkey Jones or Digibro, we got number three, which is Munchie. Munchie with hat. Munchie. I'll, I'll Munchie admit. Wears tiny hats. I'll admit that I don't really know too much about him other than, like, all the episodes he's been in on the PCP podcast. Yeah, that's all I really need to know about him. He's amazing. His personality's infectious. I love to listen to him. He's just so balls-to-the-wall crazy, and he owns it, and he's just so entertaining. Uh, what's a moment in the... to Munchie is great. Oh, all right, good. Uh, then what's, a, what's a, like, a moment that you can recall easily, uh... Uh, from the PCP podcast that he's done that uh, you, you love to reference? Um, there are a couple things Munchie has done. Like, Munchie is, like, known for, like, talking about, like, Christ consciousness. That's his big thing. That's the big meme with Munchie. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's, like, he's just, like, crazy. Like, he does crazy shit. He's, like, he's balls to the wall. He does funny shit. Like, he, um... There are two instances that have become a big meme to reference where Munchie pees on mic on the PCP. Beautiful. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on, what, what did he do? Not literally onto the microphone, but he like has his microphone with him in the bathroom and he's peeing. Oh, and oh okay, okay, okay. I have a couple of friends like that. <laughs> I, I, I've known a few people that have gone into like Jello Biafra. Uh, was doing a, an appearance that was being recorded, uh, was being live recorded back in 2006. He goes, hang on, everyone, I gotta go to the bathroom. And, you know, he starts yammering away, and he's talking the entire time, and everyone's making their way, they're listening, and they're buying his merch, and he goes, ah, and you hear, he just fucking, like, just going all... Just uh, going into the fucking urinal, and you start hearing this nervous laughter, and he cracks this joke that uh, 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 that just makes the whole audience fall on their asses laughing. It was one of the funniest things I've seen a punk rock, old punk rock musician do. Uh, but anyway, go ahead, bro. I totally Another interrupted funny you. funny Munchie moment I recall is um, Monkey did this like big experimental Spyro Let's Play where every three episodes he'd have a new co-host. And a lot of them were PCP members. And for the last two episodes, it was uh, Munchie. And Munchie, on this Let's Play, was very funny. Like, he went on this nonsensical rant that was very hilarious to listen to about how the Zodiac Killer... About how he's exposed the Zodiac Killer and that the Zodiac Killer is his father. And that the Zodiac Killer is Monkey. So Monkey is the Zodiac Killer and also Munchie's father. (laughs) Oh my god. Fucking Ted Cruz uh, gets, so, like, it's it's kind of funny how he's become, he was just, like, huge square, but he's, he, uh, he rolled with the hits. I mean, if you forget, like, your, if your personal politics for a sec, if you look at the dude, he rolled with the punches so well. Yeah, I fucking hate his policies, but, like, I, I love, like, someone on his birthday tweeted at him and said, like, happy birthday to the, to the infamous Zodiac Killer. And then he re- quote retweeted it and said, "They'll never catch me." Yeah, see, I I, I like that. I, I like the personality uh, that he has. He's he's even grown a beard and started smoking cigars in public, which probably means he's probably not really looking for a re-election and he's probably checking out of this fucking place. And and I would not uh, uh, blame him at all for wanting to get the fuck out of Washington. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, go uh, go ahead, Riley. I totally interrupted you. Yeah, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is the obvious choice. Munchie looked beyond Ted Cruz and found the true culprit, his father, Monkey Jones. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, Munchie's just very silly and very balls to the wall, and I love it. And it's also inspiring to hear how he got on the PCP, because he was, like, a young boy. He was, like, I think he's, like, 19 now, but, like, when he first joined the PCP, he was, like, 16, 17, my age. 
Nice, nice, nice. He I started really... like being friendly with Dizzy Bro when he was like fucking thirteen. He, he like, I think he like did something ridiculous at BronyCon to get Dizzy Bro's attention, and then he became friendly with that whole group. Nice, nice, nice. I love it when like bands and and podcasters and shit they'll they'll have some freaking like super young kid, uh, show they'll show up on there and he'll end up like uh. Uh, keeping up with the freaking old men and plus like adding a little bit and it turns out to be like this really really cool thing like Dave Hi, still my name is Riley Brooks and I'm that for this show oh yeah yeah definitely definitely uh, like uh, Dave Sil- Silver Silvera or Silvera from uh, from the band Corn uh, when they were first starting out when they were in Berkeley California uh, just playing freaking little like literally party people's uh, houses and stuff uh, Dave called him up, and it was this, like, six-year-old punk kid going, Hey, guys, can I, um, can I come play in your band? I have my own drums, and I would like gladly to do that, you know? And, you know, it's, it's fucking, it, it's, it's cool to see, uh, those success stories out of shows and bands like that. But anyway, Riley, I've go actually, ahead. I've actually got to dip out here. It's my, since it's my brother's birthday here. So All right, Robin. do the whole happy birthday thing. So. Hell yeah, Robin. Uh, well, you take care of yourself then, and thanks for coming out to the show. Yeah, She's missing the guys. two big boys, the top two. <clears throat> At Inside Alloy, of course, uh, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, all, of course, everything will be in the description. So, all right, Riley, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, what are the last, the, the top two, the big dogs of ZPCP? Number two, the second best member of PCP is the whole number time, two so is Monkey Jones. He ah. was on. He was on the PCP for a little bit under a year, I believe. Like I think he was officially inducted. I think he was officially inducted into the PCP in the episode plans for 2017. Like they do a plans for blank year every year, and. Like, I think, like, three episodes after he got kicked off was Plans for 2018, so he was on there for a little under a year. Uh, I gotta say, you know, I every uh, he's not on every single episode that I love, but the episodes that he, he's on, they seem to be some of the more iconic uh, or quote-unquote golden age uh, PCP episodes. And I think, in my mind, uh, Monkey's always going to be forever, or the PCP will be forever associated with Monkey Jones, personally, in my opinion, in a good way. Uh, I think, of yeah. course, like there's some downsides and downtimes and all that, but still, uh, in the best way possible, like the PCP has some of its best content with Monkey. Yeah, Monkey was... And the thing I feel bad about Monkey is, like, I talk about how like most of the PCP still want to work, still wanted to work with him, and he kind of just refused to do that because he had like abandonment issues about getting kicked off the PCP. No shit. But I do understand why because he really liked that group of people. Like, even though he'd shit talk the podcast itself, like it, like he said he never listened to an episode of PCP even when he was on it, and has not even like uh, attempted to listen to it since he was off of it. Oh God! I, I yeah, uh, Harrison Ford refuses to watch the first Star Wars, the first three Star Wars movies, and uh, he'll. I think he doesn't. He's never watched Blade Runner either. So I, I understand not being able to consume your own content. But yeah, Monkey on the PCP. He was kind of underwhelming at points because, like, it has sense. Like, he kind of just. I don't know if this is kind of like a defense mechanism for getting kicked off or if he's serious, but he said a lot of the times that he was in the PCP for the paycheck, pretty much. Like, the PCP itself, like, he made a lot of fulfilling content with the members of the PCP, but the PCP podcast himself, he said that he was in it for the paycheck. He seems to say that a lot, Uh, like, when he doesn't like something. He's like, I don't care, I'm just here for the paycheck. Monkey Jones, pay me my money, Susan, you fucking whore. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, that's Go the, ahead. besides the PCP, that's the, only thing I, that's the only thing I've heard him say I was only in it for the paycheck about is the PCP. Is there something else he said that about? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm talking to, like, a, a other monkey-related stuff not related to the PCP. Yeah. Like, it seems to be another constant besides the uh, 
destroying podcasts everywhere he goes. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. R.I.P. Boomer versus Zoomer. Yeah, rip so. Boomer re Zoomer. Anyway, so uh, go ahead. We don't have any monkey podcast anymore. It's sad. Hopefully, he has at multiple points saying he's going to start a new podcast with Rusty Cage. So hopefully, that actually gets out of the water. Oh, that would be kind of cool. I like Rusty Cage a lot. I, I I like his content a lot. I like his music. Yeah, they canceled they canceled State of the YouTube because I guess M. Lemon just doesn't like the format of podcast. So they said they were going to start something the two of them. I gotta say, I I I, I listen to that show a lot, and. It's really cool for a while, but you can see, you can tell that a lot of episodes, like the the April Fools episode, it seems so forced and so fo- so so phoned in, and uh, like Fools like you can tell the one where they pretend they kicked Monkey off the show. Yeah, which wasn't like okay, so you, I can tell they're obviously doing a bit. It just wasn't very good. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, I do think that was funny on April Fools though. Like on April Fools, he kind. Monkey himself, I think so, State of the YouTube is obviously the only one who actually like did an episode about it. But on April Fools itself, Monkey did like a video for every single one of his podcasts why I was kicked from blank, including the Monkey Jones interview show, a show that literally only he does. <laughs> so yeah, Monkey Jones, huge fan of his. Uh, what is your yeah, number so one? Uh, what, what's your number one uh, guy for uh, the PCP My podcast? You know, I feel like the top three are kind of interchangeable. It's very hard to put them into an order. But number one is Mr. Digibro. Yes, yeah, Senior Digibro, the uh, the 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 father of Lollicon, the defender of all things anime. I, I defender actually defender of all things uh, pedophilia art. Uh, I, that that is not the thing that I I want to remember him for, and I'm thinking probably in a couple of years. This will go, uh, this will all die down, and we won't really have to worry about like a uh, lollycon bullshit. Like, well, well, that stuff uh, with him because I think his career is is much better than just that one stupid controversy uh, that he. Well, I guess it's not stupid. It is it is kind of gross, and I did have my little spiel about it in the in the beginning, and probably several other times in several other episodes. But still. Uh, I, I think. Well, hold on. Let me let me get done with this point. Um, I still think that the he's he's got a lot of funny in him, and he's got a lot of uh, actual real talent. That if he, I, I think if he would just uh, do something else besides what he's doing right now, because I'm not really into it, and I honestly haven't consumed anything from from Digibro in like months because like I'm just not that into every single anime and I really hate slice of life anime and I know that he's been really really going fucking full on nuts for that so I, I've just I, I haven't been watching it too much comedy content which is why I really wish he'd like even though he obviously doesn't like Monkey so insufferable social media argument isn't coming back anytime soon but I'd like to see him do like a similar show where him and like one member of the PCP, preferably like Munchie or Ben, one of the good ones, and mm-hmm. do like a general comedy show. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, I really liked his, uh, like I said, I, I love his takes uh, in, in the PCP when he, when he will just randomly interject with some fucking nonsense that will have nothing to do with the conversation, and it derails the podcast. Uh, so many times, like there are some points in a few episodes where uh, they'll be ha- they'll be having an in-depth conversation, and all of a sudden, Digibro will just say some fucking inane bullshit, and it'll it'll like devolve into like either laughter or either shit flinging with one another. And uh, those are some of my favorite mo- those are some of my favorite moments uh, with him in the PCP podcast. About Digibro, just in general, like listening to Digibro talk is something that just like gets me. Like, I listen to Digibro talk, and I'm like, this is something that I want to listen to. I want to hear this. Oh, yeah, if he like, were if he were born in the 60s, he would be, like, the leader of some freaking commune somewhere. Like, he, yeah. he's, he, was, he was born a few decades too early. A video format that I very much like, that a lot of people shit on, but I really enjoy, is uh, Let's Plays. I really like watching Let's Plays. Let's Plays are fun. And that's, 
back in the day before Diddy moved to wherever he lives now, he lived with his brother and they did a show called Diddy Bros where him and his little brother Victor would do Let's Plays. And that's one of my favorite Let's Play shows of all time. I really like Diddy Bros. I watched their entire Pokemon Fire Red and po- and uh, Splatoon Let's Plays. Cool, cool, cool. And they're just very entertaining. Diddy Bros is just a very entertaining guy. Um, yeah, that's why he gets number one. He's just really entertaining. And, <laughs> and also your favorite that you would have babies with because you are um, you, you are that much into Digi Bro. You want, his, baby, you want his you want his digi babies. <laughs> but, um, uh, of course we got number super one, the best member of the TCP, the only member of the TCP that matters, Psy. Who's Psy? Psy's not actually a member of the TCP. Psy get, get, I, I need a good five minutes on Psy here, just a real quick tangent to wrap us up. Is Psy was a near obsessive super fan of Digibro. Mm-hmm. Like a stan, I believe is the term now. Ugh. He he stanned Digibro. Um, he wanted to be like Digibro, and he started his own YouTube career. He's actually fairly successful. Like he had a good like a hundred thousand subscribers, I think. And he he got his views from like some series he did called Ten Things You Didn't Know About Like Blank Video Game. And oh, cool, cool, cool. Psy, the reason I know about Psy, the reason Psy is very entertaining to me is that Psy. And I, I guess I think he might have discovered Monkey through Digibro, but he subscribed to Monkey. And Monkey back in the day when he was like smaller, like whenever somebody with like a big subscriber count would subscribe to him, he'd like talk to them and want to get like collab with them and such. So he got in contact with Sai, and him and Sai started a podcast called Sai Tries to Get Monkey Into, where Sai tries to get Monkey into various things most of the episodes are lost with the seasoning unfortunately but there's a couple out there yeah the seasoning really wrecked a lot of archive uh channels it's it was it was really fucking sad uh when we lost some of those because th- there was a lot of kill stream uh archive channels that just got bitch slapped out of existence and well, we I mean, lost a lot of really cool old shit on monkey's channel and then monkey got terminated oh shit that but fucking yeah, the, sucks. I think there's a, the episodes that are left are, um, I think there's four episodes left. There's Side tries to get Monkey into Lollicon because he's also a Lollicon. Oh, God. Uh, Side tries to get Monkey into VR porn, and then Monkey tries to get Psy into Pretty Face, and and Monkey tries to get Psy into Depression, or the four episodes that still exist. And then there's technically, <laughs> they're counted as episodes of the show, is um, Psy versus Asperger, <laughs> which is where. Asperger, who was, like, a big, like, Asperger, like, was kind of friends with Psy, but they were, like, friends who were always at odds with each other. Yeah. And Burger, the first Psy versus Asperger is just Burger gets super drunk and starts, like, yelling about Psy and telling Psy that he needs to get his YouTube career shit together. Oh, god damn. Like, telling Psy, because Psy had been losing YouTube viewership, because, like, you know, he's like, he's in touch with his art, so he doesn't want to keep doing the videos that everybody watches. He wants to do videos that he wants to do that get no views. So Burger is trying to, like, tell him how he can, like, balance the two and still get views while doing what he wants to do. And it's, like, this big old debate. And then there was a second one where Burger um, rips into size Kickstarter, which he did a Kickstarter for a series on a, like, manga called Heaven Lost Property, I think. It's oh, a manga wow. that Sai did a series about that he did a Kickstarter for. So Burger rips into this Kickstarter. They get some chick in in the call that um apparently on another podcast said that she went to high school with Sai and that she was super creepy. So they got her in there. <laughs> it was pretty good. Sai versus As the, the two Sai versus Aspergers. Like I fully recommend anybody to listen to Sai versus Asperger one and two because those are some great podcasts. All right, go ahead and link me that because I'm going to be listening to that later on. Then. I will I will link you Sai versus Asperger. But All yeah, right. Sai. Sai, the Digibro stan, even though unfortunately he it was recently revealed that he's not a Digibro fan anymore. He fell off of Digi, Digibro's good graces. Aww. <laughs> All and right, also, buddy. He's not friends with Monkey anymore because Monkey, this is another, like, it's so funny how close it parallels to Digibro because, like, he still remained friends with Monkey a little bit even after Digibro disavowed him, which was nice, but then uh Sai quit YouTube and he made his Patreon Discord server a public Discord server so that people could still talk to him even though he had quit. 
and then um, a bunch of people, like Mumkey's fans, like not even Mumkey's like friends, like Mumkey's fans, jumped in and started shitting up the Discord. And Sai like blamed Mumkey and told Mumkey to get them to stop, which she obviously can't do because like he doesn't control people. He can't control anyone. So Sai blames Mumkey for this and fucking blocks him. And that's the end of Sai tries to get Monkey into, and he also blocked everybody associated with Monkey, including Asperger, which Asperger is not was not happy about. Like every let's play Monkey and Asperger did after that is just that Burger complaining about Sai the whole time. God damn. Alright, buddy. Uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because we are at the hour oh, about uh, hour twenty nine mark. Uh you got anything you you got anywhere to that people can reach you out? Yep, yep. I've got I quit YouTube recently. I don't know if I've mentioned that on the MoCast yet. It might have happened by the time last week's MoCast happened. But oh shit! I quit YouTube because of Kappa. I didn't want to deal with that shit. And I I don't really like the platform of YouTube anyway. I was kind of looking for an excuse to get off. And the uh, even slight possibility of literally getting fined money was like, nope, this is my out. I'm leaving. Yeah, you might want to uh, wait uh, like another year till you turn 18, so you could just go. No, my shit's not for kids. I I'm over 18, blah, 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 and you'll be fine. Well, I mean, yeah, then I can age restrict it. I won't have any audience. I do better on bitch shoot than just age restricted YouTube. Yeah, bitch shoot's um, going to be the new hotness here this year. Yeah, I'm on bitch shoot. My, um, I had my own individual bitch shoot, and then I decided to perhaps boost its viewership. I would convert it to a bitch shoot for the podcast network I'm involved with, Pixels Media, and do some like duo let's plays with some of the guys over there. And I've been getting a decent amount of views, but still only one subscriber, which is you, Mo Diggity. Oh, no shit. Well, you know, I, yeah. do, I does what I can. And, Thank uh... You. See, anyway, Twitter, Riley Tweets, Twitch, twitch.tv, slash Riley Streams. And the big one, I always gotta get louder when I plug this one, that's my thing, because this is the important one. The Riley Podcast Megafeed, the new home for all independently Riley-produced podcasts can be found on Spotify and Stitcher by searching Riley Podcast Mega Feed. Please go listen to my podcast on the Riley Podcast Mega Feed. That's the big thing. Definitely, That's definitely. Uh, I'll go I'll, I'll put this that podcast. I'll put that yeah. in the link. Just uh, go ahead and link me that and I'll put that in the description. Uh, yeah, anything the else? Riley Podcast Mega Feed is the home of shows I'm um, hold on, I'm finishing my plug. Five seconds. Oh, my bad, my bad. The Riley Podcast Mega Feed is the home of shows such as the Riley and Ian Movie Review Podcast, Largest Issue in the Galaxy, and Pokemon Go Corner with Riley, along with some re-uploads of shows that aren't running anymore that I still really like, like Titan Color Board, which is honestly, like, some of my best work, honestly. Like, that show isn't even edited, and it still holds up, mostly. Like, Titan Color Board was really fun, even though the co-host disagrees. Uh, that's the worst when you do something with somebody, but one half of the project fucking hates it the other half loves it yeah like i really like doing Peg and colo colo really didn't me and colo still work together like he's on pixels polygons and fun which is like the biggest podcast i'm on but we don't really do anything else together anymore because i think he's annoyed with my existence oh god all right <laughs> and you can find my sorry ass at twitch.tv slash mo diggity uh youtube dot com forward slash c forward slash mo diggity 42 and uh i am at happy good boy 420 on twitter uh because i keep getting banned but i think this might be the last one that i'm going to get banned from because i think i've learned how to be a good boy and not get banned off of social media anymore so i might be just i might be okay for a while and go check out mo diggity 42 on uh bit shoot as well all the links will be in the description and all of that stuff. So, uh, thanks for coming out, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you to my other co my co-host, Robin, who had to duck out because birthday, uh, brother's birthday stuff. And, of course, my other uh, co-host, my good buddy, Riley. Yeah. Yay! All right, great episode, everyone. Until next week, until I see you again, ta-ta. Listen.